Hey, what is going on everybody? Aaron FPS here and welcome to another video here on Gaming VOD, a channel where myself, Consistent Luck, as well as a lot of other people supply the gameplays and commentaries for you guys. And today, it's specifically my day, Aaron FPS, and I do hope you guys enjoy the commentary. So I'm pretty sure Consistent Luck has already talked about the new commentators and the new people that are getting the gameplays that are moving over to this channel. It's going to be a pretty cool thing, I think, almost like a clan. The Gaming VOD Clan, that's what we can call it. We can call it the Gaming VOD Pub Stopping Clan. Not really though, guys. Of course, that is already covered by a lot of the bigger clans. So anyway, guys, what I wanted to talk about today as we are getting to this gameplay, of course, what you're watching is a 110 kill and 18 death chem strike on Bayview, brought to you by Consistent Luck, and I did cut, cut this one a little bit better than I did the last one. It is, is of course, a 17 minute gameplay, but I cut it down. Of course, you guys see the chem strike and then some other kills after that, making it about a seven minute video. So you guys don't have to sit through the whole 17 minutes and listen to me talk throughout the entire time, although it might not be a bad thing. Anyway, you guys can go and tell me in the comment section below. But what I'm going to be talking about today, you guys know that I'm really big in helping people grow their YouTube channels and really just giving everybody tips on how they can grow them and sustain Wait, sustain contains. I think it's sustain the word I'm looking for. The viewers that they are gaining. So this is kind of built towards, this commentary is kind of towards people that are thinking about starting a YouTube channel, but then again, they're not really sure and they're really just kind of asking themselves, should I start one, should I not? And I should answer all the questions that you may be asking yourself in this video. So go ahead and sit back, relax and enjoy. So number one, what you're gonna have to know, and I mean, even more than I, when I was like a smaller commentator, which I still only what 5,700 subscribers. Yes, it might be a lot to all of you, but then again, to me, it's not that big compared to the other guys. So you have to keep in mind that there are thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of YouTubers on the internet that are gaming YouTube commentators. And you have to remember that it's gonna be hard to set yourself apart from the others, especially when they're all trying to start at the exact same time. And everybody's kind of just put, standing on top of each other. The bigger commentators are kind of pushing the other ones under the bus and they're not able to see their videos up on the search results. When people search for Call of Duty gameplay or Call of Duty commentary, whatever it may be, you're competing with the other thousands of people that are doing it. So you have to know that this field that you're getting into that you might be buying this equipment for is going to be really hard to get noticed in. It's gonna be really hard unless you're unique and do something that somebody has never ever done before. If it's not, then of course it's gonna take time. Another reason you need to keep this in mind is because the amount of money that you will spend on equipment if you want to get good and you want to get further into this is going to be a lot of money. I mean, personally, on my personal setup, by just trying to get to this big and I'm, I don't even make a lot of money on YouTube, like maybe like a couple bucks a month. Uh, my computer was twelve hundred bucks. My mic was two hundred bucks with a stand. Um, my editing software actually did not buy that. Got it for free. Of course, everybody gets it for free. But. Yeah, but my Xbox and the Xbox One, of course, that equals out to like 700 bucks. Um, just all the stuff that goes into it really does add up. And you guys have to kind of keep in mind that this is some of the money that you're going to have to spend if you want to get noticed on YouTube. I'm not saying that you have to go out and spend all the most, uh, like you have to have to spend all of your money on the most expensive equipment. Just something that, I mean, just know that you're going to be competing, like I said, with some of the people that are small like you that have good equipment, Elgato, all that good stuff. So keep that in mind as well. Also, one of the biggest, biggest things is kind of my last tip, I guess you can say, is to stay consistent as possible and make sure you have enough time for YouTube. Now, don't give up, guys. And this is, I'm kind of being a hypocrite about this because recently I've been thinking about quitting YouTube. I'm going to be making a video about that on my personal channel. But guys, YouTube is going to take time. Some of these bigger YouTubers that you see have been doing this for years and years and years. And some of the reasons maybe they're blowing up is because they're doing something completely different. Take Fire Ronin, for example. You guys probably have no idea who he is, but he's actually one of my friends on YouTube. When we, when I met him, I was at 5,000 subscribers and he was at 3,000 subscribers. He started to do Omegle videos and these weird like, like actual online trolling videos on Omegle. And he gained from... As I was at 5,000, he was at 3,000, I'm now at 5,700, and he is at well over 27,000 subscribers and gaining like two to 3,000 subscribers a day, and it is absolutely ridiculous. So because he was able to find something different, then he was able to grow in his channel. So going back to what I was saying just a second ago, what you have to do is know that you're gonna have to spend a lot of time on YouTube. Now, like I said, it's different if you come up with something completely different, something completely original that people love, 
then you're gonna grow a lot faster but if you're maybe doing like the standard commentary type and not really putting a lot of editing into your videos then you have to expect that you're gonna be making videos and commentaries for a really 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 long time until you start getting noticed. Right now guys, I've been doing YouTube for about three years and this is the channel that has had the most subscribers and it's only 5,700. So hopefully going into the near future, going to the next Call of Duty, I have uh, some ideas that I might go into the next Call of Duty if it's not a complete bust. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't, but we will have to wait and see for that. So just that guys, and please, 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 please don't give up don't go out and spend all this money don't go out put all this time into it and then just completely give up after a couple months and say hey i'm not getting noticed i want to keep doing this and guys like i said i'm gonna be making commentary about me my personal uh kind of experiences and thoughts about quitting youtube because it has been on my mind lately it's been on my mind i'm not growing that much i'm not growing an audience i don't get as many likes on my videos and it's just kind of discouraging for me to know that I've put so much time into my videos, so much time into my editing, so much time into my commentary, so much time into perfecting my commentating voice and being able to talk in front of the mic for long periods of time. That is something that I've kind of struggled with in the past, but I've, of course have gotten better, and it's just something that I don't want to completely throw away just like that, guys. So remember, just like, a couple things to take from this video. Don't think you're going to blow up right away. Try to be as original as possible. Don't go out and spend all of your money on something that you're not sure you want to do completely. And of course, guys, never, ever, ever give up. Yes, guys, I know it is cliche to say never give up, but it's something that I had to say and something that I had to get out to you guys. So yes, this commentary and this gameplay is coming to an end. I do hope you guys did enjoy the video don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and if you did like the video any in any way shape or form like i said leave a like and of course comment tell me what you think about this um basically about this video what you thought about the commentary topic and let me know if you want to start youtube and if you have how you're doing anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the rest of your day don't forget to comment rate and subscribe amazing gameplay by consistent luck and of course guys i hope you enjoy the rest of your day see you guys next time